Let's go on to number 4. The height of a tree at time t is given by twice differentiable function h, where h is measured in meters and t is measured in years. And we have some of the tables of h of t. Use the data in the table to estimate h prime of 6. Okay, well h prime of 6, we have t of 5 and t of 7, and we have our value of h at t of, at t of 5 and t of 7. So we can approximate h prime 6 using the average rate of change, using the average rate of change from 5 to 7, because 6 is right in between 5 and 7, and because 5 and 7 are pretty close to 6. So we know h prime of 6 is approximately h of 7 minus h of 5 over 7 minus 5, or 2, and h of 7 is 11, h of 5 is 6, divide by 2, and we get 5 over 2 meters per second. So we know that's h prime of 6 meters per years, I meant to say, so let's make sure we don't mess up the units again. Using correct units, interpret the meaning of h prime of 6 in the context of the problem. Well, h is the height of the tree at time t, so h prime is going to be the rate of change of this of the height of the tree. So we can say at time of what is it? Six years, six years, the tree is growing at an approximate rate, approximate rate of five over two meters per year because the derivative is rate of change. So rate of change of height is going to be the rate at which the tree is growing. So let's go on to part B. Explain why there must be at least one time t for t between 2 and 10 such that h prime of t is 2. So the first thing I think of when I see this is the mean value theorem. Mean value theorem because we are trying to prove the existence of some point in the open interval such that when you differentiate h with respect to time at that point, we get 2. So it looks like we are using mean value theorem and we gotta make sure the conditions are satisfied. Well, we have h being twice differentiable, so we know h is differentiable on on the on the domain, on the domain, and because it's differentiable, it must also be continuous on the domain, which means we can apply mean value theorem. But applying it from two to ten, from two to ten gets us fifteen minus one point five over 10 minus 2 as being h prime of t, there has to be a value such that h prime of t is 15 minus 1.5 over 10 minus 2, and we see that this thing is not 2. So I maybe this is not quite the way to go. One way of going about this is trying to find some rate and maybe trying to incorporate intermediate value theorem into it. If you can find a rate less than 2, more than 2, and if you can somehow connect them, maybe, maybe that's an acceptable answer. But in my opinion, easiest way is to just look at this part. Because from t equals to 3 to 5, our average rate of change, our average rate of change is 6 minus 2 over 5 minus 3, or 4 over 2, or simply 2. So we can just apply mean value theorem to the interval from 3 to 5. So we know there has to be a value in 3 to 5 such that h prime of t is 2, and of course 3 to 5 is contained within 2 to 10. So we have shown that there is a value in 2 to 10 such that h prime of t is 2, and we are done. So let's go on to part C. Use a trapezoidal sum with the four subintervals indicated by the data, and we're just approximating the average height of the tree from 2 to 10, where the average height is going to be 1 over the interval, so 10 minus 2, the length of the interval, or 1 eighth, times the definite integral from 2 to 10 of our function h of t, h of t dt. And of course, we're going to use trapezoidal sum to approximate this definite integral. So let's do so. So the trapezoidal sum, the base length of the trapezoids are going to be h of t, and the height of the trapezoid is going to be the length of the interval. So for the first one, we should have 1.5 plus 2 
times one because we're going from two to three. That's the interval length of one, height of one, and we have bases 1.5 and two. So we have 1.5 plus two over two times the height plus for the next one, we have two plus six times the height. Now the change is two over two. So we have two plus six over two times the height of two. And the next one, we have six plus 11 times the height and the change is two. So height is two over two. So six plus 11 over two times two plus Finally, we have 11 plus 15, those are the bases, and the height is 10 minus 7 or 3 over 2. So 11 plus 15 over 2 times 3. And on the AP test, you don't have to simplify the numerical answers. So if you leave your answer like this, you don't have to simplify it. You should get a full credit. So you, well, once you have this, you're done. You don't have to go on. But if you really want to simplify, you don't... I don't recommend you do because that's just a waste of time unless you can do it very quickly is it's equal to 263 over 32 if you really want to simplify it but just leaving it like this should get you 100% of the point let's go on to part D the height of the tree in meters can be modeled by the function g given by g of x is 100x over 1 plus x where x is the diameter of the base of the tree. So we are relating the height, which is g, to x, which is the diameter. So let's keep this in mind. When the tree is 50 meters tall, the diameter of the base of the tree is increasing at the rate of 0.03 meters per year. So we know the rate of change of the diameter with respect to time is 0.03 so we know we are looking at related rates problem because we are differentiating with respect to time and according to this model what is the rate of change of the height of the tree with respect to time at the time when the tree is 50 meters tall okay we know g is 100x over 1 plus x so before before we find dg dt and all of those let's start by finding g prime of x because we are going to have to differentiate g in the end any, anyway. So let's have a simplified value of g prime of x before we go on. Using quotient rule, we have 1 plus x times 100 minus 100x times 1 over 1 plus x squared. And we have 100 plus 100x minus 100x. So 100x's are going to cancel out. So we have 100 over 1 plus x squared as g prime of x. So what do we know? dg dt is going to be, when differentiating this, so 100 over 1 plus x squared dx dt using the related rate. We know dx dt, that's 0 0.03. So you know that's 0 0.03. And what else do you know? You know the tree is 50 meters tall. So we know the tree is 50 meters tall. Here it is down below. So we know g is equal to 50. And we wish to find the rate of change of the height. So we want to find dg dt. So to find dg dt, we have to find x. Once we have x, we are done. And how do you find x? Well, by looking at this equation that g, or in our case 50, is 100 times x over 1 plus x. And we can find x. 50 plus 50x is 100x, and solving this quickly gets you that x is 1. So you know x is 1, so you have 100 over 2 squared times 0 0.03. And you don't have to simplify this, you can leave it as it is and be done. Or if you really want to, you can simplify it as 0 0.75. And what's the unit? You're looking at the height per time, and the height is measured in meters. So we should have meters and the time, the time is measured in year. So we should have meters per year.